think really the big one to talk about is Trevor Zagras and just how how good he looked in that game. Like he was he was making passes that like I, some NHL players don't even make. Like I'm I'm very excited to see him um, play with some of our players and just like thread the needle just to make nice passes. There's so many, so many yeah, nice passes. Yeah, I think this game. I mean, mind you, it was against a maybe what you might consider a lesser team. Uh, it'll be interesting to, I mean, we saw a little bit uh, against Russia there as well, but it'll be interesting uh, through the rest of the tournament to see more of this player against some some higher-end competition, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he definitely didn't disappoint there against Austria, obviously. And uh, just showed, I think, how much of an all-around player he is, right? He has that slick, uh, almost easy-looking release uh, on that shot that, uh, you know, we saw it definitely on that first goal by him there. And, uh, but yeah, just like you were talking about there, the passes as well. Everybody kind of forgot for a second how great of a playmaker he, he was. And he's like, here, let me remind you. And yeah. Uh, yeah, just some sweet dishes there as well. So yeah, that was really uh, fun yeah, to was, watch. Yeah, he was going off in this game. And I can't wait to see him throughout the rest of the tournament. Uh, taking a look there on Ducks Twitter as well. Ducks fans are getting really excited, even asking Anaheim what number he's going to be wearing for the upcoming season. Yeah, I think he's um, definitely going to impress in camp, and I, I could definitely see him um, at, at least getting his, what is it, seven games there uh, allowed this yeah, year? Seven games. Yeah, I can definitely see him getting those seven games and potentially even more depending on uh, the performance he has in those. I mean, at the beginning of the season, like I know we start against Vegas. Um, yeah, and then we play Minnesota, Colorado, and then seven games would take us to Arizona. So you, you, we would play some good teams in there and some, some I, I guess, middle-of-the-road ones as well. So it'd be, we'll, we'll get to see a, a wide range of maybe what Zegres could do. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where we would place him in this lineup. Um, I get the feeling that Henrique is going to be the first line center this year, mm-hmm. uh, just with... You know, Ryan Getzlaff can still play and that sort of thing, but especially with basically the sprint that this season is going to be, you don't want Getzlaff playing those top minutes. This is and this is the I think the one time we'd ever say that. Um, so I could so I'm seeing Getzlaff getting dropped down. Is trying to figure out where he goes that you figure out maybe some of the other uh, centermen. Yeah, we also still have Derek Grant and we still have Sam Steele, um, which you can kind of move around in that but if you want to get zgress in there where do you place him um you were saying you could see him in a middle six position so second or third mm-hmm. line center yeah um i'd be interested i wouldn't be upset about him seeing him on the wing top. either yeah that yeah that too um but i think that would be interesting to see a kind of flip-flop between the second and the third mm-hmm. um and you can also maybe figure that out with gets as well uh, elite number one center Derek Grant is going to be on the fourth line or third line, which I mean, I think that does show some of the center depth uh, that we have. We definitely have center lately. depth, yeah. Um, the only issue is like, yeah, like, okay, so you bring in Zgrass, we have a bit more depth, but I know I was talking that we needed some more still mm-hmm. um, just to be able to compete with teams, say, like Vegas or whatnot. But um, yeah, I guess it kind of depends. Like, if you can get guys who can play center and the wings, it'll make your job a lot easier. Obviously, um, sorry, I'm, I know I'm kind of going around in circles here, but yeah, I, th- I do kind of agree. I think I want to see uh, Zgress in a middle six role mm-hmm. uh, there on uh, the second or the third line. I think it would be interesting to see. So I've, I get the yeah. feeling that if you were get put anywhere, though, it would be the third line. But well, at least uh, to start, yeah, yeah, at least to start. Uh, and I think he, even there, like he would thrive. And uh, oh, for sure, for sure. His perform his performance could demand a second line role already, but mm-hmm. we'll have to see. I know that's uh, pretty high expectations already against in a, like in an eleven to nothing Aust- like a Austrian loss. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but um, even just seeing how he played against Russia as well, who was always mm-hmm. a powerhouse of the World Junior Championship as well. We'll see in the next few games. Maybe we'll have something different to say next Sunday. Uh, but I got a good feeling about. Uh, this kid for the coming year at least with the Anaheim Ducks so sure. I don't uh, yeah. I this is the one time where I'd say maybe that sending him down to the AHL maybe isn't in his best interest 